Yo, what's going on guys, Tills here and welcome back to a brand new video here on Rocket League and this is some crazy news on Rocket League, they have just announced this on the website and you might have seen this going around YouTube already but here I am making a news announcement video, whatever. What is happening is Rocket League is retiring its crates, that's right. Here we see on the Rocket League website that they're saying that they're going to no longer have the Rocket League Champion Series crates in drops in Rocket League. And that means Rocket League Champion crates are going to be much rarer. Let's just read what they say here. All four Champion crates will no longer be available as drops after online ma matches once our next major update goes live this summer. This retirement only affects drops, so if you already have champion crates in your inventory, don't worry, they will stay the same and you can trade them. Now, this is really going to affect the community and the way the Rocket League prices are affected as well. And I think Rocket League prices need to be changed at the moment because prices at the moment are lower than ever. Now, with taking away the crates, this is going to bring much more and higher prices for any items inside the champion series crates and the champion series crates themselves so if we take a look on rocket league now i'm not sure how many of them i have there we go so i have cc2s cc3s and there's cc1s and cc4s they're all going to no longer be dropped on rocket league that means as people open them and continue to open them there is less crates in circulation and this is good because what you really kind of want to do at this point is save your crates save them until next month two months three months i don't know whenever they're going out of circulation save them and then keep them saved for a few months after they no longer drop after they retire because that means as people open crates for videos or just for themselves less of them are around and that means the less of something there are the more one of them is worth and that's my plans. This is really good for people like me who want to get profit from trading. So hang on to your champion crates. Don't open them just yet because things are about to get real on Rocket League. They've decided that it's just going to all go serious now. Where There's going to be some good news for big traders. But also, they're now saying that after retiring the champion series, they'll continue to retire other crates on a schedule of roughly six months. So if we go back to Rocket League, six months after these are retired, they will be retiring the player's choice crates. Six months after the player's choice crates are retired, the turbo crates will be retired. Six months after that, the nitro crates. But obviously they're going to bring out many more crates. And that is a also a hint to more crates definitely coming soon. Probably two every six months instead of one because as one goes away, you can't just add one because then you'll be always on like two or three crates and that's not very good if I'm honest. But anyway guys, hope you did enjoy this announcement. Hopefully this is going to be good for the community instead of bad. I know we like the wheels such as like Voltaics that are in CC2s. I believe they're probably going to put them in further crates or make another player's choice crate because they've only got player's choice series 1. They've not got the uh, Player's Choice Crate 2, so hopefully they make that and hopefully we will see something like Voltaics in there because Voltaics will be missed. I really want to open like Forest Green Voltaics or even Crimson Voltaics or even any painted Voltaics because that's something that just seems awesome. Like Voltaics are some of the best wheels in the game. But anyway, hopefully you guys did enjoy this video. Hopefully. This is going to be a good change to Rocket League. I will see you guys in the next video tomorrow. Goodbye.